QSIS, a modern queue management and customer experience solution. As the world goes digital, QSIS is here to equip hospitals across the continent of Africa with future-ready electronic queue management systems and customer experience solutions. QSIS is more than just a queue management system. It is a comprehensive, data-led, analytics-driven customer experience solution that streamlines patients' movements in the hospitals. QSIS will automatically manage the patient's waiting time, their order in the queue, the type of treatment they seek, as well as their overall experience. To understand the application of our system, let us see how QSIS improves the flow of patients in the hospitals. Step 1. Brian walks into the hospital because of consistent migraines. At the reception, the touchscreen kiosk greets him. Here he enters his mobile number and selects the reason for his visit. He can select from a number of options such as registration, new patient, a follow-up visit, or if he's here to collect reports, amongst other relevant choices. These options can be customized as per the requirements of the hospital. Each selection will generate a different series of number and will be assigned to a specific counter, thus allowing for a systematic flow of patients to various service points. As soon as this is done, Brian will receive a soft token on his mobile via SMS as well as a printed token. He will not have to generate any other token for his visit. He can use this token to access hospital facilities as advised by the doctor. Let's have a closer look at this token. It has the token number, the number of patients ahead of him, and the average waiting time. Step 2. Brian then proceeds to the waiting area where there is a centrally controlled status display unit. The status display unit shows the token number and the status progress in the queue. This will enable Brian to track his status at all times. It also works as an audiovisual entertainment unit to interact with the patients and keep them entertained. The status display unit can also run a text scroll to convey key messages and announcements whilst playing promotional video content of services offered at the hospital. Partner product adverts can also be played to a highly targeted audience. The status display unit can be programmed to set start date and time and an end date and time for these promotions and adverts. You can also plan the content for the promotions and advertisements depending on the different departments and branches of your hospital. The digital signage is centrally managed, allowing your hospital to benefit from the extra revenue by way of paid advertisements. Going back to Brian, when his token number comes up on the screen, it will show him the room he needs to proceed to, which in this case is the consultation chamber. What's more is that even the doctor's name can be announced over the system. Token number A72. Please proceed to Dr. William Robert. Room number 5. Step 3. Each service point is equipped with a soft call pad which can be accessed using a specific username and password to call or transfer patients to their respective chambers. The soft call pad also allows the operator to see the entire flow with particulars such as the total number of patients in the queue, current token being served, the upcoming token, amongst others. This call pad can also be used to recall a patient transfer back a patient on priority, skip a patient, defer or transfer a patient back and forth between departments based on the need or emergency. What's more is that the call pad can be integrated with your hospital management information system to show the patient's name and the unique patient ID number. From the consultation room, Brian can be transferred to any of the three available desks. He could be transferred to the lab for further tests or the pharmacy to collect his prescription or he could be sent directly to the payment counter if the problem is not severe. You can also customize the activity flow as per the hospital's requirements. For example, transferring the patient from registration to the payment counter and from there to the triage or the consulting room based on your expert judgment. Step 4. Now, while Brian is with the doctor, his token number will be displayed on the counter display unit. 
It will also display the counter or the room number and the token number currently being serviced at the counter. This will help the other patients get an estimate as to how long they would have to wait in the queue. In the event that a service desk is idle, the counter display will show the name of the service. Step 5. Once Brian has been served at the last service point, an important part of his journey in the hospital is to provide feedback on his experience. Brian will automatically receive an SMS with a feedback link prompting him to rate the service. Brian can also give feedback through the centrally located feedback kiosk in the hospital. At QSIS, we have integrated QR codes and payment wallets as additional channels to obtain customer feedback. The QR codes can be printed on any stationery and placed at various service points. The patients simply need to scan the QR code via their mobile and it will direct them to the link of the feedback questionnaire. Patients use payment wallets to complete hospital transactions. They are automatically sent an SMS upon successful completion of the transaction with a feedback link. Feedback and Complaint Management The Feedback and Complaint Management system at QSIS is integrated with social media platforms such as Google and Facebook to present the real-time Net Promoter Score NPS. These are real-time feedback that patients can provide even when they are waiting in the queue. Once feedback or specific comments are received from patients, the Feedback and Complaint Management System at QSIS automatically generates a ticket that is escalated to different levels of the concerned department depending on the predefined escalation matrix. The relevant department shall get an automatic notification without the need of manually alerting the department thereby reducing human error. Reports A hospital queue management system would be incomplete without insightful reports. QSIS gathers data across all service counters and departments and presents this valuable data in the form of customizable reports to efficiently manage patients and improve productivity of the workforce. Let's have a look at some of these reports. Counter Utilization Report this report shows the total login time and total transaction time of each counter with information on the employee who has logged in to that counter. This report will help to analyze the time spent by the employee serving a patient versus the time that they are logged in for. Service Report This report helps the hospital management to understand department-wise turnaround time, waiting time, and transaction time allowing you to downsize or upsize those departments. Summary Report This report provides the total waiting time, transaction time, and turnaround time of the entire organization. This report also helps in ensuring that preset service level agreements are being met. With such a robust system in place, the hospital operations are streamlined and the experience of the patients are further enhanced. They get to enjoy the pleasures of a simpler process and hassle-free treatment. So, what are you waiting for? Talk to a QSIS expert and streamline the hospital operations. QSIS. Manage better.